Hey guys, I'm bringing you guys a quick reading. Sorry for the camera wiggling all over, but Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra in the energy of healing. What is something that your soul is having difficulty sort of getting over like that hump where you need to get more into a more of a healing mindset? So we'll start with Gemini. I'll leave timestamps for all the signs. All right, so Gemini, what is something that you're struggling with right now in that twin flame separation? Oh, so we've got some karmic debts. So it could be that you separated from your twin because you have to pay out or play out some debts or they might have had to pay out or play out some debts. So that has to do with sort of um, sometimes toxic connections or toxic relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be people in our everyday life that are part of our karmic debt. So in order to clear it and in order to reunite with you under um, a better alignment energy, they may have to clear up karma and you may have to clear up karma. So it could be something, yes, that you're struggling with. So let's see what is sort of an energy surrounding this karma. Ooh, so we've got back and forth. So it could be that you can never make up your mind about things. It could be that you might think you want something and then you get it and you don't want it anymore. So that could kind of drive you crazy. I also feel like there's an imbalance of masculine and feminine energies. I feel like there's a fight for dominance for that within you. I also feel like there's a fight for clarity within you. I also feel like that you might teeter-totter back and forth with decisions. You might make a decision and regret it immediately after or wonder if you made the right decision sometimes with this energy it kind of suggests that not one person might not feel like they're enough for you okay so this could have to do with commitment it could have to do with your twin flame too with the back and forth energy it could be on again off again hot and cold that sort of thing so it's definitely stopping you from dealing with that karmic debt though and you may not know what that debt is it might be a new person coming into you that you need to meet and see and have an experience with Either way, I feel like this is more so to get off this teeter-totter, make one solid decision that's the most logical that you can make, and start to move on. Because I feel like you're going back and forth between moving on and going back to this with the um, Twin Flame stuff, okay? So let's just get one last card for you here, sort of a message. All right, don't be afraid to slow down at this is when you can really make the real inner changes. Okay, so Spirit's telling you you need to slow down and really start to think things out, think logically about everything, um, and definitely um, do this without fear, okay? I hope that that was helpful. All right, let's get into Libra. So Libra, what is something that your soul might be trying to overcome, something with the healing that might be a problem, something that is maybe particularly difficult? So we've got your soul is here to learn about vulnerability. So it could be that you felt very vulnerable with your twin flame. It could be that, you know, this is something that opened up. It's a bit of a wound for you, okay? You might be the type of person that never likes to show their real true emotions. You might like to keep it together and be kind of like a more of a stone cold um, face or poker face when things are bothering you. So it bothers you now that they have exposed this vulnerability within you. You might not like to be alone and it's making that sort of abandonment issue come out or that alone feeling that lonely feeling come out which makes you feel very vulnerable so let's see an energy sort of surrounding this so we've got family so it could be that you separated due to family issues it could be that you need to put more attention on your family or they need to put more attention on their family it could also be that you're in each other's soul family um, and members of your soul family may need you right now just like members of their soul family may need them right now and if you truly are twin flames you won't ever really be separated but you could have to have some experiences with family as part of your contract that you need for your soul's growth is what I'm getting so let's get one last message for you about the healing part of this and we've got use I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce that word. If anybody knows how to pronounce it, comment. Equanimity to calm your emotions. So I feel like that's spirit telling you when you're feeling overly emotional or fearful, that you should go to that rational part of your mind, that Libra rationale is what you need to use right now and get things back in balance. I hope that was helpful. Let's go now to Aquarius. So Aquarius, what is something that your soul is here to learn about that you might be having an issue with um, going forward? 
So we've got to understand about relationships. So this could be um, an experience within itself. This could be the best relationship you ever had with your twin flame, or it could be the worst. It could be setting you up to learn more lessons, deeper lessons that you were not having previously before meeting your twin flame, okay? So you're here to experience all of those things, the good and the bad. So let's see something else for this. That and courage. So you have to have the courage to sort of go forward. Courage to feel the way you feel. Courage to act on those feelings. Courage to let this really sink and not be afraid of going on that spiritual journey. Not being afraid to put your energy into it. Even if you don't know what's coming. Even if you want to be logical and analyze everything. Spirit's like, no, sometimes we just have to go blindly into this and trust that the universe is guiding us. So let's get another message for you. Sort of to close this little mini reading out. And we've got learning grow from the wisdom of your feelings by allowing yourself to befriend them rather than deny them so yeah so this might be a challenge for you with your feelings you might be more emotionally cold and this is sort of teaching you to be more open and more loving and more accepting and more open-minded to things i hope that these messages were helpful thank you so much for joining me don't forget to like and subscribe and share